Let's say we were together. Would you tolerate cheating from me? Of course. I would. No. Why is that? Um, because men biologically cheat. Because you can go sleep with a girl right now and it's just pleasure. For example, we're surrounded right now by a shit ton of amazing clubs. You can walk into the club right now, get super drunk, and just have a one-night stand. But you smart. You're still coming home to me, sleeping with me, providing for me, and doing everything you're supposed to. It's just biologically made. The men are going to go ahead and cheat because it's just pleasure. You know what I mean? It's status, basically, when men cheat. But when women cheat... It's disrespect because when we cheat, it's a connection. Like, we cheat with intention. We cheat with emotions. You guys don't cheat with emotions. We do. So... I don't think a man should stay with a woman that cheats on her. Don't get mad at me, nigga. I'm here <laughs> telling the truth. If somebody else should have told you this. Now, why wouldn't you feel insecure by finding out that I, you know, was blowing on all the chicks back out? As women, you're meant to be feminine and protect of the home and stay with your partner and take care of the kids. So if you're providing for me and doing everything you're supposed to, I will definitely tolerate cheating. But if it's a 50-50 relationship, it's like I'm your roommate. Why Why are you like down making me downfall? Like that's not that's not cool. I'm not gonna well, lie why to wouldn't you feel, feel insecure true. by finding out that I, you know, was blowing on all the chicks really back up? Well, as women, you're meant to be feminine and, no and protect of the home and stay with your partner and, and take care of the kids. It, so women if you're providing cheat, for me and doing everything you're supposed to, I will definitely tolerate cheating. I mean, but if it's said, a 50 50 valid, relationship, it's like I'm your roommate. Why, why are you like down much. making me? From an income perspective, I think we have a pretty big gap. Oh, Ma, tell me, Ma. And so then, what's your salary versus what's your salary really? So I'm making between like 300 to 350 a year. Oh, oh, yeah. Good girl. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> Sorry, no fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm making 70. A year, but there will be bonuses and you know um, returns. Returns, but like the business hasn't been lucrative yet. We just opened them. And I think I pressure him a lot to be like, all right, like what's the plan? Like share that with me so that like we can work towards whatever you know you want to be making. Yeah, and I think that as a woman, it is hard to sort of grapple with pay more in the relationship. Like the opposite of like every rap song. Every rap song, 100%. <laughs> How often do you meet a partner who makes exactly the same amount as you? That Nobody I meet is happy. It's crazy. And I think that partnership is never going to be 50-50. Negative. Yeah, she might as well prepare herself for a breakup because ain't no man finna sit up there and put up with that. I can tell he's not from here. He probably came here with a purpose to build a business, become a millionaire, and he's gonna use her as a stepping stone in order to get what he wants because maybe he did actually like her, but he see the writing on the wall. She's trying to be his leader. She wants to make him do something. She wants to make him aspire to be more than what he is now because she's here. She wants him to be that, but it's not gonna work because men don't take that shit too lightly, bro. It is what it is. How much money should a person make at 21 years old? At least 500,000 a year. Are you out of your damn mind? It's... I don't know anyone at 21 that's made 500,000 a year, but I know a lot of people who are 18, 17, 16, who are making 100,000 a year. So, well... So, obviously, the natural exponential progression from that should be 500,000 a year, no? No. That's what, that's what these beautiful girls want. The world knows. It seems like a lot grind harder we're humans we're like lions 10 percent of us are supposed to make it then the other 90 percent are supposed to die on the male side learn anything you can handle i can handle learn about the credit game learn how to get access to a hundred thousand in funding and once you have that hundred thousand put that into it put that towards a business that you believe in and trust in and if you're not going to be a winner if you're not willing to die to become a winner i am all the times out here all right 500,000 at 21 years old is crazy as hell unless you some type of athlete or something or I don't know but ain't too many five ain't too many 21 year olds making 500k a year man you'd be lucky to find a 21 year old who makes $70,000 a year right so this is totally unrealistic even with me I love to push people to go as hard as they possibly can but man it's just not normal for the most part bro but aspire to do it obviously but don't beat yourself up if you don't hit that goal by 21 or even 31 or even 40 this is my son i'm looking at this this nigga look just like me what's up what's up i'm not gonna sit here and be like yeah you better not no fact a lot of the times it'd be like i don't f his mama oh my god who the hell can is she in the way of me f with that nigga yeah, 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 ugly i really want to my son
I want to do shit with him, but his mama always got some funny shit to say. I really want to take him out with me to go camping, but his mama always got some shit to say. I really want to take him outside to play football so he can get a scholarship, but his mama say, well, he needs to play soccer because that's too rough of a sport. Soft, soft. That's the bullshit women be putting on these goddamn balls. He need to go out on the football field and get knocked on his ass. He need to go get in a couple of fights and learn how to throw them hands. He need that kind of shit. That's the strong men that y'all like to. Real. So why won't you let that man teach him and mold him to be there? Because if that nigga, if that nigga was good enough to, f if that nigga was good enough to nothing that pussy, if that nigga was good enough okay. for you to get pregnant and carry this baby for nine months, then why the fuck is he not good enough to teach your son how to become him? Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Don't pull out the nine. <laughs> A lot of men out here, like he said, are deadbeat daddies. But let's be real. I'm just, I'm not. I don't think majority deadbeat. of niggas are deadbeat. Because you gotta there understand this. Lot. There are, are a lot. Are they deadbeat or are they broke? But the thing is, is are they deadbeat or are they broke? They're broke. The difference? That's They're a broke. difference. <laughs> Where in the goddamn handbook does it say that a nigga gotta pay to be a father? Where in the goddamn handbook does it say that a nigga gotta have a certain amount of money to be able to be a father? If I don't have money, I got time. I got game. I got you know what's crazy, man? I like the fact that Ugly Money, I think that's his name, said that you don't have to have money to be a great dad. And I'm going to bring the point home. My kids want to go to the park. They want me to take them around the neighborhood sometimes, like on bikes. They want to ride the bikes. All of the stuff that my kids usually ask for just requires time for me for the most part. They want to go outside and kick the ball and watch the dog chase it in the backyard, man. You don't need a whole lot of money to be a great father because the lessons, the skills that you can teach them will translate into you being a great father. Women just want a, a check a lot of times. He got you flowers? Wait, what else? He acted like this, girlfriend! Flowers, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Lydia has a boyfriend! This will not be tolerated. Negative. You be listening to Steve Harvey. Early in the morning. Man, that man cheated on his wife with his mistress. Damn. Married his mistress and had his kids with his daughter. Jumped from one relationship to the next with no intention. So all that relationship advice you be listening to about love, he should have given to his children. You're goddamn right. <laughs> The only time you want equality is when it's beneficial to your agenda. Love, this ain't a poem, this is an intervention. She be talking about how her grandfather took care of her grandmother. Well, that's that grown man's business, and the woman that your grandmother is doesn't correlate to the woman that's being mentioned. Ours. Wow. Stop acting like you don't want who could drinks and a good night. A nightcap with your night bag while getting hit from behind. She gonna go for brunch and mimosas. Trust me, it works every time. She gonna be yelling out the window how she outside and she fuck nigga free, but she want a husband in the same line. He was spitting. <laughs> love, when the family feuds in... <laughs> love, when the family feuds in real life, it ain't a game show. And if love don't cost a thing, how come you keep asking for things you can't even bring to the table? Oh! Boom. Yeah, he hit the nail on the head with that one, bro. A lot of hypocrisy going on. They want us to be their grandfathers, but they don't want to act like their grandmother. That's crazy to me, man. We are getting less of a woman, but they want us to be just as much of a man as those guys were. It don't make sense, and that's a tough bargain to sell. Give me the chips. You can't eat chips. What? Just sit and stare, and stare, and stare. So, nothing's wrong? Keeps a straight face. Bad boy! It's downhill, but it's empty, I think.
See, this that I have less than two brain cells to rub together activity. Maybe if you put the damn phone down and actually raise your kid the proper way and teach him discipline and teach him manners and and and, and um how to behave in situations and not dirty up the flow, maybe you'll be better at mothering. Put the phone down and stop recording him and go be hands on with him. And women got to know that. So if a guy, they always be like, he wouldn't take me nowhere. That's why he wouldn't take you. You're not trusted. You can't be You're trusted. Not, you can't be trusted. I absolutely you. agree with that with certain no, things. No, so women need to know that. So all the ladies out there, you saying, he never takes me nowhere. He, what are you ashamed of me? Yes. <laughs> Whore. 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 <laughs> he, thinks, he thinks if he takes you somewhere, <laughs> you are going to embarrass him. <laughs> You're going to be the beginning of his downfall. <laughs> and who wants that? Not me. Not me. Not me. Yo, yeah, listen, man. <laughs> this is true. Okay. <laughs> Anybody in a long-term relationship in three years or longer? Everybody ever said this or had somebody said this to you? It just doesn't feel the same anymore. Well, fuck you, bitch! I just, like, fell out of love. I don't know. It doesn't feel. Anybody? There's a few reasons why this can happen, but one of them is, over time... All those little disagreements that never got resolved start putting a brick between you and your partner. And in the beginning, you don't really feel it because the bricks are still pretty low. But over time, they begin to accrue and they get higher and they get higher and they get higher. And then suddenly the spectrum of conversation you can have with the person, the behavior, the authenticity in which you get to speak starts to get shut way down because you're afraid of conflict and you have all these unresolved issues. And now the relationship goes cold because you're playing in too small of a pond. So you keep that wide open by dealing with conflict and not allowing it to deal with you. Tight shit. I'd rather you just show up and be like, I'm unfaithful and I have no desire to be faithful. How you doing? Cool, let me love you based on where you actually are as opposed to the lie and you're gonna cheat behind my back and, and only confess it when you are caught. Like I had to hire a private investigator And listen to you lie to me and and gaslight me and tell me it's not what I know it already is. It's not what you think. And then I got to go pay $2,200 to find out I was right? No, no, save me that. The best thing that can happen to humans is that they could show up as themselves, be accepted as they are, even if it means dealing with the consequences as they are. Yeah, like I said, I'm going wherever my nigga going. He ain't lying. And oh, that shit's that. Oh, 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 so you going to Cheesecake Factory? Yeah. <laughs> you going you going to Applebee's? I'm going to Applebee's. <laughs> Chili's? Chili's. Chipotle? Yeah, wherever, wherever he go. going. Yes! Yes! See, that's I'm, what I'm, I'm going about. wherever he going. I don't go. We go to the party. I'm I'm going I'm going to feel like I'm on the field day like I'm with my nigga. That's all that matter. See, this is what I'm talking I, I about. Into, all that other shit is just noise to me like if you with your nigga and y'all rockin' he wanna go to the Cheesecake Factory, then I need to look up and see what I like on the Cheesecake Factory menu. Mm. Yeah, mm. like I said. Oh yeah, man, they'll listen to the city girl say, get fluid out, finesse these niggas, get you a scamming nigga, get you a dope boy and all of that stuff. But they gonna draw the line when, oh, nah, my man wanna go to Applebee's, I'm going to Applebee's. They not gonna follow that instruction. Nah, they only follow the stuff that benefits them. Yeah, so you could just um, take a seat right there. Um, you want something to drink? Um, no, I want to talk about the payment situation. So it's one fifty for an hour, um, hundred for a short stay, and for fifteen minutes it's seventy five dollars. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> wait, what? Wait, 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 what? <laughs> you sell your shit? I prefer the term entrepreneur. Thank you. Not. What does that mean? Not too much, sir. Not too much. Yeah. Not too much. N nah, but you got like a hundred k on the gram. I, I, I thought. And when I what? did the math, that's at least 95,000 niggas that would pay for my shit. Like, what else did you thought I did? Look at this nasty ass bitch. Yeah, like a lash paint business or something like, I saw you in Dubai and Puerto Rico. Yeah, niggas is paying to fly me out and crack my shit. Cancel everything. That's how I end up Dubai. Niggas is shitting on me. What? Niggas is, yeah, 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 yeah. Niggas is pissing on me. Hey, yo. <laughs> niggas is doing me dirty out here. I'm offering promotion codes too. No, Which one no, you want? I, I'm not trying to buy it. Do you want a discount or something? Like, this is a slow ass night. Like, the f what you call me here for? I, I, I didn't know. Alright, bro, alright, bro, alright, bro. I'm leaving, bro. Like, what? Niggas is weirdos, bro. How much for 30? Gotcha.
Hey man, I love this right here because a lot of these women on Instagram, TikTok, and stuff like that ain't got no damn money, man. They OnlyFans is not popping like that. You got to be the 1% to be getting real money on OnlyFans. So a lot of them are getting flued out just to get their back cracked. You see what I'm saying? To get that Virginia uh, state line encroached upon. That's all it is, man. Don't fall for it, bro. They they got CNA jobs. They make $15 an hour. That does not translate to being able to go to Dubai. It doesn't. They getting fucked. She talking about she cheated. And gave her boyfriend a whole pass. What? I wish a girl, I wish my wife would come to me and say, baby, I'm sorry I, you caught me cheating. I'm giving you a whole pass to cheat. I'm going to look her dead in the eye and say, bitch, I've been cheating. Whoa. This shit ain't new to me. What's wrong with you? I'm talking about you giving me a whole pass to cheat. I should slap your mother head off for cheating. Only I cheat around here. I don't even want. I don't even want a female to feel that comfortable coming to me talking about she gonna give me a hall pass and cheat. Who you talking to? You bad off robbing me, saying some dumb ass shit like that. Now she crying. Why would you cheat on me, bitch? Wipe them tears off. Go fix me some lamb chops and and, and, and and for me and my side, bitch. That's the hall pass I want. She's crazy. She's totally crazy. Barbecue. A bullshit. A bullshit. A bullshit. I don't need a man. Really? Or have we as a society so greatly exalted this strong independent female archetype to the point where we are dealing with generations now of little boys who grew up to be the men that their own mothers unconsciously taught them that they didn't need, who were outperformed in a school system that favors the more docile demeanor of little girls while they were conditioned to believe that they're toxic and the really strong-willed ones were just put on riddle and all the while we're not realizing that we're creating the weak men that no one wants to date and forcing women to become the men they used to want to marry and leaving little boys without someone to show them how to be the men that women need nobody i meet is happy and if we continue to compete instead of compliment and overcorrect we're playing a game where we both lose and instead of pointing fingers at each other, we should be looking at who wins. I don't know. Man, this lady is cleaning fish and filleting it right in front of us while maintaining a feminine aura while maintaining a smile and stuff like that bro women got easier jobs over here and they do it with an attitude i see why a lot of passport bros are doing what they're doing going overseas to try to find a wife but the only thing i disagree with is this bringing them back to america that is crazy you don't take a properly trained kid and then put them in a 
room with the savages and leave them there, they're gonna become that. That's what it is. They have to or they ain't gonna make it. I wanna send a message to Cameron and Mace. What? Brothers, I've been watching y'all on the internet. I've been watching y'all on YouTube doing your sports show. And first of all, it's the best show in a long time that I've seen. It's an original idea, it's creative, it's funny as hell. I appreciate what y'all are doing, but I appreciate something else about what y'all are doing. For decades, literally decades, y'all weren't speaking. Y'all were at odds. Y'all had some kind of tension or beef. I don't wanna get into that part of it. I just wanna say the fact that you all were able to resolve your beef the fact that you all were able to come together with forgiveness and love and create something together and to watch you two on camera as brothers having fun, laughing y'all behinds off every week. Cam gonna pause me for that. Doing all the stuff that you do on camera with joy shows what's possible for black men. Y'all are a role model for us, man. And that y'all can forgive, that we can forgive, that y'all can grow, that heal, that y'all can forgive and heal, that y'all can do whatever y'all need to do to be okay, man. Y'all are setting an example for young people and grown people. Are nah, this was today's segment of Positive Vibes. I hope y'all enjoyed it. But the message to be taken away is this, man. Listen, bro, now that you are grown and wiser and stuff like that, I hope you are. Man, if you got beef with niggas at this big age, bro, like put that shit behind y'all. Figure out how y'all can get some money or at the very least, Figure out how y'all can coexist in the same room or the same building together without trying to kill each other, man. That boy will, I'm out.